In this video, we're going to look at an interesting development with Google Cloud Text-to-Speech. That's been integrated into SAP Enable now for a while and allows you to generate audio for your text on simulations or book pages. So here's the problem that I currently have. I've got a book page here and I have page sound for it. And I can record that using text-to-speech. I just type my text in here. I can include SSML, and that will generate that audio for me quite happily. While we're here, note that I'm currently using English as spoken in Great Britain, WaveNet Voice B Mail. We'll come back to that later. So I've generated that already. And what that does for me, if I preview this... There are several settings you can use to control object snapping. These are in the Authoring Settings Adaptable Resource in the Book Page Editor category. Click on the blue hotspots shown here to display information about each option. So, so far so good. That works for me. But I've also got other audio objects and I want these to be played as I do things on the screen. So as I click here on this hotspot, it's going to show me a bubble and I want that text there to be generated via text-to-speech as well. However, the problem is that on audio objects, there is no way to generate text-to-speech. That option doesn't exist at the moment. I do have a customer influence request in for that, but at the moment you can't do it. So what I was having to do here is basically create a dummy book page, enter page audio for that, generate that audio file, and then import that audio file into here because Google Cloud Text-to-Speech didn't really provide a useful API without me building bits of code for it. However, what's changed recently is that Google does seem to have given us that. So I'm going to go here into my Google Cloud dashboard. This is where I've got my subscription to Google Cloud Text-to-Speech. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for speech. And within there, I can select speech in the search results. And then down on the bottom left-hand side, there's a new option under text-to-speech called Synthesize. Now, this does say Preview, which means that the chances are this isn't really an official feature yet. They're kind of rolling it out. So there's going to be some teething problems with it, maybe. But it looks like it is going to be coming to this product. So let's go into there and see what that will do for us. So it's a fairly simple interface at the moment, not particularly pretty, but again, this is a preview. So here I can enter my text into a series of lines that it gives me. And what I'm going to do is take exactly that same text that I just used for the page text and put it into here just so we can see how it works. So I'll paste that in. It's coming in a number of lines. I'll click Next. Here is where I specify what language I want this in, which is going to be English, English, and what voice I want to use. And this is where I need to make sure I select the same voice. So here I'm going to use English, Great Britain, WaveNet B. That was the one I chose earlier. And then I'll click Next, and I get some advanced settings that I can use. I can speed it up, change the pitch, etc. But I'll leave those alone for now and just click Continue or synthesize will do the same thing because I'm already on the last step. So synthesize, that's done it, and I can play it from here. There are several settings you can use to control object snapping. So I've confirmed that I'm using exactly the same voice. So I don't need this one. I just wanted to show you how to do it on that particular page. Now, another thing that's not great about this at the moment is there's no easy get back to edit your text feature. So what I'm going to do is click back on the browser forward on the browser to get me back to this page again and here I'm where I left off. So here I can change my text if I want to, regenerate it with new options etc. But what I wanted to show you here and what I really wanted to generate, I'll delete that, is on the SSML page. If you want to put any SSML in there, although in SAP Enable now you can just put those SSML tags anywhere in the text and it'll interpret them, if you want to use SSML here, the whole of the text needs to be valid SSML. And generally speaking, all you need to do there, if I paste in my simple example, which I've taken from my bubble that I'm going to display and paste that into here, all you need to do is make sure that you've got a speak tag and a close speak on that. 
and that will say, okay, everything that follows is valid SSML. And I've actually got a couple of short breaks in here, which is the SSML code. Everything else is just my text. But you've got to put that speak and backslash speak on there around all of your text. Otherwise, it will just ignore all of the SSML. So now I know that all of my settings are okay here. So I'm going to use the same settings I did before. So I can just click synthesize and it's generated for me very fast. I'll play that to confirm it's okay. If this option is selected, then as soon as you start to move an object with the mouse, dotted purple lines are displayed showing all potential positions. Okay, so that's all good. And those pauses were in there. Now what I can do is I can download that audio from here. I can call it whatever I want to. And I can save it as a WAV or I could save it as a MP3 file if I wanted to. I'm going to save that to my downloads folder. And then back to producer for this bubble now, I can go and load that. So I like to load them onto the object themselves. So I'll select insert from work area, current object, insert file. I'll go and find that, select that file, open. Okay, so now that file's been brought in there and now that should work fine for me. So again, I'll preview. There are several settings you can use to control object snapping. These are in the authoring settings adaptable resource in the book page editor category. Click on the blue hotspots shown here to display information about each option. And when I select that and it shows the bubble. If this option is selected, then as soon as you start to move an object with the mouse, dotted purple lines are displayed showing all potential positions. And that's it. So that now works for me. Admittedly, it's an extra step to have to come to here and generate that file and then import that file in. But until SAP give us a way to generate text to speech for an audio object, which I hope they'll do one day if they're listening, this is a great way to be able to generate all of your audio using the same Google Cloud text to speech voices so that everything is consistent. It requires a Google Cloud text-to-speech subscription, but that's actually surprisingly cheap and it works perfectly. Hope you find that useful. If you did, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.